Hey, crypto friends, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the charts for Nakamoto Games and we're going to simply see where it might be headed and we will cover both bullish and bearish scenarios just to simply cover all of the possibilities as well. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, if you're interested in trading and would like to try out the new crypto exchange that I use, then feel free to go ahead and check out the Blowfin exchange with the link in the video description down below this video. And the best part is, those of us that are in the United States can use this exchange to trade crypto futures also. So, that is very, very nice, and that's actually one of the biggest reasons why I recently switched from the Maxi Exchange to the Blowfin Exchange. So it's pretty nice because people in the U.S. can use this one. All right, guys, so we are going to be diving into the charts for Nakamoto Games, and we are going to also be looking at the Bitcoin Dominance chart. We're going to be looking at the, um, the total three market cap chart for all altcoins, and we are going to be looking at bullish and bearish scenarios for Nakamoto Games as far as what is coming here, okay, or what we think might be coming here. All right, so as far as Bitcoin dominance is concerned, as you guys can clearly, clearly see, uh, Bitcoin dominance is currently within this uptrend right here, as you guys can clearly see. We are currently topped out here at like roughly around 55.27% in this current trend that we are in right now or within this channel. And as you guys can clearly see at the time of me filming this video right now, we are currently down sloping, which has caused altcoins to slightly, slightly rise just a little bit yesterday and the day before uh, and we if we go to this chart we can clearly see this is the total market cap for all the altcoins except for bitcoin and ethereum and as you guys can clearly see this altcoin chart has been clearly going pretty much straight up straight up for quite a while all right so clearly bull run we are clearly in a bull run we have been in a bull run as you guys can clearly clearly see um but a lot of you are probably wondering, you know, is this going to keep up? You know, what's going to be happening here? Here's the realistic thing, you guys. I am not a magician. I can't tell you exactly what's going to happen because, hey, I don't, I don't, I don't practice witchcraft, so I can't see the future. I don't know what the hell is going to happen, you know, five days from now. All we can do is make speculation based on what we see on the charts and what we see from, you know, world events and stuff like that. And as most of you know, tomorrow we have a... Um, interest rate meeting here in the United States, and that usually plays a big role into how these markets are, and to how these, how the crypto market performs as well. So that's something we also need to pay be paying attention to. And as of right now, um, from what I have heard from the grapevine is is that um, interest rates, or sorry, um, inflation is not looking. It's really not looking the best right now. So, um, you know, hey, I don't know what's going to happen, but um, if uh, rate hikes do end up happening, I mean, I can fully expect that we will end up, you know, probably dropping a little bit. How far? I don't know. But if that does happen, we're going to take a look and see what could eventually happen, okay? So if we go ahead and take a look at the Bitcoin chart, Bitcoin is currently sitting in this triangle pattern here on the daily chart where it has been kind of, uh, you know, where it's kind of been sitting since, you know, the middle of March, which kind of sucks to be honest with you, but uh, hey, um, nothing can go straight up forever. It's just not sustainable. So uh, realistically, if we are currently ranging within the within these two ranges here between fifty eight thousand seven hundred and fifty and seventy seventy three thousand eight forty. I mean, hey, that's good news because the longer we're here, the longer that we are here, to be honest with you, I mean, to be brutally honest with you guys, we are currently in a bullish structure here. I mean, we are still in a bullish structure here. I mean, technically, we've got an ascending triangle right here. And as you guys know, with ascending triangles, if they play out, you know, hey, we could end up going straight through like that, or we could end up going down then going back up, then going back down, then going back up. And that's usually typically how ascending triangles typically work out. But as we all know, as money flows from altcoins into Bitcoin, as Bitcoin is rising, then all the money from all the altcoins ends up, you know, flowing outward and into Bitcoin. And then therefore, all the alts end up taking a tumble. But that is why we pay attention to stuff like, you know, the total market cap of altcoins and Bitcoin dominance as well, because those numbers are important when we are trying to figure out what could potentially be happening next. All right. So. On to the actual video um, as far as what could be happening here with uh, Nakamoto Games. Now, on a bullish scenario, okay, on a bullish scenario, let's say, um, let's go ahead and say that, uh, you know, hey, 
Um, you know, there are no there are no rate hikes that are going to be ha happening. Um, everything is looking good for Bitcoin. Bitcoin ends up taking off. Oh, whoopee, well, yay, we go up to 86,000 or some shit like that. Um, and then after that happens, all of those profits end up flowing into various altcoins, stuff like that, whatever happens, yeah, yada, yada, whatever. Um, and we end up getting a decent run on altcoins, all right? If something like that were to end up happening, you know, realistically, what needs to happen here is we have been, Nakamoto Games has been in a, been in this pretty violent downtrend for quite a while. I mean, pretty much, I mean, just like uh, um, on Bitcoin, like I was talking about earlier, pretty much since the middle of March, and it's just not looking good, to be honest with you. But that is simply because there has been a ton of whales that have been selling and there has been a ton of people just getting shooken out and getting scared and stuff like that so they've been selling all their bags all right um and simply realistically um <laughs> the people who are left to be brutally honest with you the people who are left i mean hey these people are smart because these are the people who are going to make some big spanking money in the long term because everybody knows everybody on this planet knows well everybody that's in crypto knows the true potential of Nakamoto Games. They are by far one of the absolute best gaming projects out there, and that's not me talking as a tribalist for this project or anything like that. That's me being realistic, all right? These, this project is consistently putting out new content, consistently building on a regular basis, consistently communicating with their overall fan base and everything. These people do not sleep. They are consistently, consistently building on a regular basis. And Price appreciation for it will eventually follow at some point in time, all right? And so as we can see here, what I could see end up happening in a bullish scenario is, boom, we end up eventually breaking out of here, all right? We end up eventually breaking out of here and then coming up into this zone right here where we've got a bunch of... Um, or we've got quite a, quite a bit of resistance up in here. All right. We've got quite a bit of resistance up in here. As you guys can clearly see, we've got all kinds of candles in here that tried to peak at various levels within this area or within this range. And it just did not happen. It just did not want to go any, any higher whatsoever. All right. So we need to be reaching those points and we need to be getting past those points first before we obviously end up moving higher. All right. Once we break those levels, you know, up to $3.44 or whatever, hey, the sky's the limit, to be brutally honest with you. But we also do have to keep in mind that um, Nakamoto Games did, well, I can't go back that far with price action, but we have to keep in mind here that Nakamoto Games did end up launching at like $6.70 or something like that. I don't know, somewhere around there. So realistically, it won't be an all-time high, but we will pretty much be in new price discovery mode. And I'm hoping, hoping, <laughs> hoping, I'm hoping that generally happens because realistically, like I was talking about before, Nakamoto Games is one of those projects that is, <laughs> it is definitely slated to be, to take off at some point in time because this thing, they, they just, they just don't give up, you guys. They just don't give up. Um, and it, realistically, they're just continuing to put out more and more on a regular basis and they're just building, 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 building. And users keep growing on a regular daily basis as well. So in the overall grand scheme of things, I personally believe that it's going to end up running at some point in time much, much higher than where it's at. I'm not one of those people that's going to sit here and tell you that it's going to go to 100 bucks because for, for me, realistically, that's not a realistic opinion, all right? Uh, me, realistically, I can't tell you how high it's going to go, um, but I'm personally looking for roughly around the 15 to $20 range at some point in time, all right? That is more of a realistic figure in my personal opinion all right so as far as price action goes though um, as far as right now is concerned we just need to be crossing these levels we need to get out of this downtrend right here and once we are out of this downtrend and fully clear out of it we need to print a solid daily candle outside of it and we need to see positive momentum back to the upside all right once we are out of this triangle, or sorry, not triangle, once we are out of this downtrend, the next thing I'm going to be looking for is I'm going to be looking for us to get past this level right here, $2.44, all right? Now, once we are past this level, the next level I'm going to be looking at here is roughly around here, around $2.90. Once we're past this level, I will be looking for $3.44, and I'm just going to be following these levels as we go and see what happens. Now, as far as a bearish scenario is concerned, this is where things get a little ugly here, all right? 
as you guys can clearly see, we are in a downtrend right now. And if, you know, a black swan event or something else stupid happens, uh, we could end up dropping much, much further than where we're at right now. Now, we could end up dropping past. We've got some pretty strong support down here at $1.58 or whatever around this area. Um, I guess the same could be said for right around here too at 178. But if we end up dropping past this level right here, $1.58, we really, really, really need to hold on to this $1.14 level right down here, okay? We cannot go lower than $1.14. That's going to be absolutely terrible, catastrophic for Nakamoto Games, all right? So if this, you know, if something stupid does end up happening, just remember, we need to keep an eye on these levels and we need to be able to stay afloat above these important levels here, all right? Because if we do end up losing this level, we could end up follow, follow, uh, falling much, much further than just $1.14, you guys. And we do not want to see that happening, especially with a project like Nakamoto, Nakamoto Games. But in all reality, in a realistic scenario, I realistically don't see that happening, guys. I mean, <laughs> come on. It's, it's Nakamoto Games. They've got all kinds of good shit that's out. And <laughs> personally, I think they got a great future ahead of them. But I will end up... Um, doing another price action video on this project in a couple weeks here. Um, I'm going to be doing them on more of a regular basis now, now that I am starting to get more into price action on a regular basis. And hey, they can only get better from here. This is my first price action video I've done in a very long time. So don't judge me. Don't be an asshole in the comments or anything like that. Um, but overall here, you guys, uh, before I go ahead and wrap this one up, if you guys are enjoying these videos and you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and help me out. Hit that like button and hit the notification bell as well, simply so that you never miss when I upload a new price update video. And if you didn't like this video, well, to be honest with you, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> but with that said, you guys, thank you for watching.